Here are some of the best Christmas present ideas for guitarists and musicians. Starting with Ernie Ball Toolkit. Now, I did contact Ernie Ball and ask for this, mainly because, whoops, mainly because I've got all of these tools and instead of me going, oh, there's that ruler and that string cutter and because I keep everything in different places, I was like, how can I recommend one thing? And I know this tool set's good. And this is fantastic. And I know you said, what do you use a ruler for? I use one of these, which is almost identical all the time. Uh, it's probably not the most exciting part of this, but it comes with a ruler, it comes with a screwdriver for taking things apart. It comes with one of these for cutting strings, for cutting oh, cables when you're wiring. It's good, isn't quite it? Quite solid looking one as well. Yeah, and it all goes away. All the different Allen keys Ooh. you're gonna need for adjusting your bridge saddles, I can't think what else you'd, oh, trust rod probably. And the uh, cloth as well, which is very handy. But it's a fantastic set. It just comes with everything you need. Like, I use all this stuff, all this, and a good set of cutters. Yeah, that's really good. I'm surprised by how good they are. <laughs> yeah, they, look so like, they look better than some tools you get from like an actual tool shop. Seems to be about 50 pounds, but Toman, or Tommen, sell it for 35, <laughs> so get it from them, it's cheaper. I'll put links in the description, but I don't know it's funny. A good set of pliers costs a fortune, and it's nice that it just, yeah, oh, just <clears throat> where's my tools? All together, yeah. They're all here. Present two. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Present two. Positive grid spark go. Uh, this was free as well, actually, but I use it all the time. Yeah, use it all the time. You know, if I want to show my kids something on guitar, I don't have to plug anything in because it's wireless. I use it when I'm making guitars to play music through. I just. You don't have to run a lead. If I want to sit on my bed and play guitar and be able to hear it, it's fantastic. Yeah. And if yeah, you we made a video on this, and it just proved to be a great option yeah. for anyone. For so, if you're a gigging guitarist in a hotel room that just wants to practice, you're at home, you just want to practice in your room, move it about, go out and do a barbecue like he does, and tap, tie it to your belt. Yeah. Oh, where's my carabiner? Oh yeah. Oh, I've lost Get it. Get yourself a little carabiner for Christmas. I took it off end. for the video. Yeah, I, put a, I wear it on my belt, and I've lost my carabiner. Oh, I don't know where that is. That's Christmas ruined. But <laughs> yeah. It's gone to Malta, gone to America, it's going back to America. It, it's absolutely fantastic. And I use it as a Bluetooth speaker all the yeah. time. I, it's a, they're about £100, 110 105 I don't yeah, know. It's really good. Absolutely phenomenal. And works with the app. This was your suggestion. It's going to look like we're sponsored by Ernie Ball. We, are we endorsed by Ernie Ball? I mean, we're not being paid. I mean, if it was rubbish, it'd be rubbish. In fact, I, I messaged you and said, we're going to do like a, a Christmas present ideas list, and this is what you suggested. And I went looking for mine, and I couldn't find it because I remembered I had a Jim Dunlop one that broke. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because I hate restringing guitars without one, because it takes forever. So, whether it's an early ball one, a Jim Dunlop one, or anyone, it doesn't really matter because it just saves the time on unwinding then winding back up. Because if you're doing it like this. Oh yeah, it takes forever, and it's just. And this is a good one. But the restringing want... guitars is boring. It is boring. So that makes it a lot quicker. I think you wanted the one, or talking about the one that had pliers, and I was like, oh, I don't like those. I think they're annoying. That's why I didn't buy one. But we were sent these, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. It doesn't have the pliers, which you think is a good thing. And I'm like, I don't want a set of pliers yeah. on a string winder. Like, why the hell would? It's like having a stapler attached to a pencil. Yeah, like, it's just handy hell? having it all together. But yeah, it's not quite as convenient. Like that's much not more comfortable. It's a lot easier to use as one thing. And a base one. I didn't know that yeah, existed. I, didn't know that. I don't feel like you threw that properly. Right, it's only ball again. But they sent us <laughs> a load sponsored. of stuff. <laughs> it was not, but. They sent it, I was like, that's a really good idea. Because he said, I said, can I have a toolkit? Can I have a toolkit because I want to yeah. do a video and I didn't have one. I thought it's just easier than going, if I have a list of 58 tools, I just want one product because it's got everything you need. And they're like, yeah, I'll send you some stuff. And they sent this as well. And I was like, I use an old towel. And if you looked at it, you'd be like, you should never put a guitar on that because it's like covered in. When you start <laughs> sanding guitar boards, it all sticks to it. But this, yeah. this is... Brilliant, and I've never, I didn't even know it existed for some reason. Yeah, I never even thought about it. I use a towel as well if I'm ever doing it. Well, I use a towel or what, the, the same thing they use at Crimson Guitars, which is like a meshy, grippy thing, but it, it actually leaves a pattern on your guitar. Yeah. It, it can like damage the body, and if you haven't sprayed it, the lack of it, uh, anyway, it's boring, but oh my god, this is shit. How good is this? Yeah, that's very good. But I think it's brilliant just to. Put on the table, not get any crumbs on your guitar, not to get anything like if you don't want any, like I have to spray paint stuff because I make guitars and you don't want anything oily or with any kind of silicon on it because it will ruin it. And these cost 14 pounds. That would be double that. 
This is pretty non-stick, not non-stick, non-slip. Non-slip. What's annoying about this is we've got so, so much stuff and I'm like, it's all really good. I didn't want to do a video about Ernie Ball stuff. I wanted one Ernie Ball but It doesn't thing. necessarily have to be Ernie Ball, does it? It's just, that is the thing and it's an Ernie Ball branded one, but get a guitar mat. Get oh, a string. Get an Ernie Ball one. Looks cool. Yeah, Ernie Ball one's cool. Quite good. Do you want to try again? Try to get in the middle. Sorry. Monty's Wax. So this one is wax where you take your strings off. If you've got a rosewood fretboard or ebony, or I'll tell you what it is really good for. Palferro, um, laurel that you get on squires. This stuff, let me look how much of it I've used. You've got a pot of this. Yeah, it's really it good. Just, I've got a pot of both of them. Yeah, it just makes it look better. And also the Monty Presso, I think it's some kind of waxy stain. Ooh, that's weird. Um, if you want your fretboard to be darker, I used this on Palferro and it ended up looking like rosewood just astoundingly good. You can also use it to relic um, fretboards, if you've got a maple fretboard which is unfinished, um, which I am going to do a video on. I've got a, a fender neck behind there. I also used it on the back of a guitar. It smells nice. Guitar body. Did you? Yeah. How did the green one. Did it look good? Yeah, it was really good. Just darkens it up, it's really nice. Okay, so I think 16 pounds a pot. God, it's all dented. These are brilliant, I use this all the time. I use this not as much. But it's really handy when you think, ah, oh, I need, well, that, you need it. So I'd probably recommend buying that one. If they've already got that one, buy that one. Yeah, so that's to nourish your Rehydrate, yeah. <clears throat> nourish. And that one's to stain it. Yeah. For nourishment, contact Monty. Patch leads for your pedal board. I didn't know this existed. I was like, oh my God. And we're talking about this earlier because where is your pedal board? Seven. Some of them have, some of these thin ones that go sort of in the side of your board so you can put your pedals close together. I have the heads of them are too big, so you can't have two like they won't go. You can't put two in your Strymon Strymon Cloudburst. Yeah, so the, These flat, the flat heads are too wide, so you can't put both of them in. So I had to use a different one as well as the flat head one, which is a bit of a pain. These have a flat head. Well, I'm going to use them, um, and they're all different lengths. Yeah. They're just so smart. But yeah, they, the flat and narrow. And they've got the flat wiring to then go around it, but just this is so yeah. good. I didn't know this existed. How did I not know this existed? Because I've bought so many thousands of different types of cables and about a million pedal boards, yeah. and I didn't know this was a thing. It's definitely handy having the different size ones as well. Well, I, I just want to buy them individually. The yeah, I'll be like, oh, I need some 15 centimeter ones or whatever. Yeah. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I know this is an early ball set string, but I am going to say something negative about early ball. So, what? we've done all these things before. A, d a different type of string, so Nashville strings, which Ernie Ball don't do for some reason. Um, I think it's Didaro? I can't remember, there are only a few good of Amazon. A set of Nashville strings sound absolutely fantastic. I did not know you could get flat wound guitar strings yeah. and you could get bass strings. And they sent these in the box. So I was like, so we always have, I, we're not people who would have 10 Gibson Les Pauls or with double humbuckers because effectively you've got the same guitar with 10 different colours. What's the point? So, you know, you'll have. Well, there's two. Yeah, don't point to them. So. <laughs> uh, exactly the same. Uh, that, I mean, that's a strap with a Tele bridge pickup. Uh, we got P90s, HSS, uh, completely t different types of humbuckers, just something different. And then you're like, well, what, how do you get more sounds? Because we do stuff in studios, and there's no point in having all the guitars sounding the same because it's a waste of time. So that's why we have uh, a set of Nashville strings, but having a set of flat wounds as well. So yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, I didn't even know they did them for guitars because no. I knew about bass. And, uh, well, yeah, I was going to have a flat wound yeah. bass. I've got a set indoors. I just haven't finished building my other bass. And you, you've got, you were going to put some flat ones on one of your basses, but yeah. it's flat wound guitar strings. It sounds completely different. What a brilliant idea. So if you're thinking of a gift sign for Christmas, get them a set of flat wound strings, why not? And a set of Nashville strings. I think it's the Dara. I'll put a link in the description. They've gone up a lot because when I first bought them with Amazon, they were like three quid. Yeah. And now they're about seven, which is unbelievable price difference. If you've got an old guitar on a cupboard you'd never use, put Nashville strings or flat round strings, then you'll use it because when you go, I want something that sounds different, well it costs a fiver and it sounds like nothing else you've got. The New X Horseman. It's about 70 pounds, 75 pounds, something like that. Was it 55? I can't quite remember the price. <laughs> it's one of those. This is my only drive pedal on my board. It's absolutely fantastic. It, it wasn't, I had a different one which has been on the board for ages and, and I couldn't believe how good this was. It's also got two settings which we didn't realize when we did the video. Absolutely love this. Yeah. It's a um, clone clone, super cheap, sounds fantastic. And here is a full video on it where we play it. And it's one of the funniest videos I've ever had to edit. I was, <laughs> it was just really fun. Very surprising how 
Well, it stood up against a uh, Tumnus as well. Yeah, a very expensive pedal. Uh, and we had a couple of arguments along the way, mainly about what a Centaur is. Merry Christmas. <laughs>